is going on everybody we are back for the final chapter of ninja sun the beginnings we are going to do chapter four today which chapter four is called invasion now chapter four is one of the biggest uh it was one of the biggest chapters that i had to write in this series and when i tell you i wrote when the way i wrote it when you guys read it you're gonna be like what the heck but all the answers will, you know, everything will come to, um, everything will make sense when you read the book. Also, it will, you know, when you get to Ninja Sun, The Awakening, you'll understand a whole lot more. But we ain't got to the Ninja, we ain't got to Ninja Sun, The Awakening yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and talk about choices. I mean, not choices. I mean... That was last episode. If you guys did not see last episode, make sure y'all go over there and check it out. It is on my YouTube channel and also my website. You guys, whoever goes to the website, you get um, you get first picks on it. So you get to see it first on the website. So, okay, the we're going to talk about um, Invasions. So let me go ahead and read Invasions to you guys. So what happened? So this is, I'm going to read the... The table of content, you know, the the tagline for it. A force invades Trayan by <clears throat> destroying half of the planet. King Raylan sends the ninja warriors to check it out. And one of the ninjas suffers a, a near-fatal injury. Prince Dion discovers some life-changing news. Well, let me just say this. If you guys have watched my um interview with my friend ashley y'all would know what that life what that uh fatal injury on uh, that near fatal injury was but i cannot tell you if you did not read it but if you go to the interview you'll understand what it is and i will probably link it at the end of this video or put it up you know put the link in the description for you guys to go check it out but it's also on the website so just go to the website and you'll find it easily because it's on the front page. You can't miss it. <laughs> you can't miss it. All right, guys. So getting to Invasion. Now, Invasion is the final chapter. And this is where Pharaoh Scyther finally makes his appearance. Pharaoh Scyther um, has been banished from this planet for eons. King Raylan and Queen Zarkaria have been, you know, ruling over this planet. This planet was founded by King Raylan. That's why, hence, he's the king. Now, King Raylan, uh, when he wedded his wife, I didn't really give y'all all this backstory, but when he wedded his wife, um, he created this diamond. And the diamond is significant with one's energy. It could, it could, um, it's a lethal weapon. And that's why this diamond is sought after by Pharaoh Scyther and, you know, the royal family. When he created this diamond, it gives you, it gives the user, I mean, I can't even describe how much power it gives. Because when you read uh, chapter three, Choices, you will see how much power this diamond gives King Raylan. Just imagine, Dion is Ninja's son. He already got powers of his own. But his powers, uh, without Dion is stronger than his father without the diamond. Well, no, hold on. King Raylan is weaker compared to Dion without the diamond. If Dion didn't, uh, if Pharaoh's, uh, I don't feel to say, if King Raylan and Dion was to have a sparring, King Raylan without that diamond. If these two had, you know, was on equal playing field, Dion would destroy his father. And that's rightfully so because he is trained in ninjutsu and also his powers are, you know, from the sun. So he gets his energy from the sun. And so he also has sacred energy in him. So that's one of the reasons. But take, you give um, Dion that diamond it's a power power amplifier that would take his powers and make him near, I mean beyond god like let me give y'all a couple of examples sailor moon when she's in her final form 
Eternal Sailor Moon. She may not look powerful, but she's very powerful. Goku. Super Saiyan. Uh, he's, I would say, uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. Is where Dion is basically. a little, But he's a little bit over that. And I know y'all going to be like, that is so insane. I'm giving y'all the backstory how the diamond was created and what it was created for. So, technically, that's what, you know, that's the power of that diamond. Not only that, Dion, um, so after he made the diamond, Scyther tried to take it for him, uh, for his own. Once he came to the heart, once they, once he was, you know, tried, um, at the courts, King Raylan banished him for eternity from the planet. Once, uh, once Dorian and Darius were of age, they were kidnapped. Oh, and I give their backstory of their captivity in Ninja Sun Revelations. So if you want to know what they went through, go to Revelations. I promise you, it, it was grueling. I was like, and as me writing it, I was like, well, damn, they went through a whole lot. So, those two actually went through a lot. So then, um, now he's back. And Scyther is ten times more powerful than um, Raylan with the diamond. But, Raylan doesn't have the diamond, and that's why. Because if Raylan still had the diamond, he would have had the upper hand. But he doesn't have the diamond anymore, so he has to make his brother believe he has the diamond. So the ninjas are out there fighting for their lives, literally. They all are out there fighting for their lives. However, tragedy strikes, and once tragedy strikes, the whole plan falls apart. As much as I want to tell y'all about all of that, I cannot. I cannot tell y'all about it, because if I do, y'all gonna... Y'all ain't gonna want to buy the book, because I would have gave y'all all the juicy stuff. But what I can tell you is... When Scyther comes in, he wipes the floor with the ninjas. And when y'all see how bad he wipes the floor with them, it is gruesome. It is totally gruesome. And I'm sitting here like, I, I'm writing it. You guys are the ones that's going to read it. When I'm writing it, I was like, I can't believe him. I can't believe that he's doing this to them. <laughs> I'm like, man. But yes, Scytha is the um, is the uh, villain of this first arc. So this arc is called the Revenge Arc, where he comes in and you know wreak his revenge. Now this is this book right here starts it all. It starts everything. So when you read this. When you go into story of Ninja Taurus, um, Ninja Sun The Awakening, Ninja Sun Revelations, Ninja Sun Desperation, and the final book of this um, series will be Ninja Sun. I haven't I, I haven't came up with the final. I I want to go with Eradication. So Eradication will be the final book. It is only six books into the series. The other five well. The other four will give more context into, you know, the stories. Ninja Sun, Story of Ninja Taurus, give you a little bit of context, but it was told by Ninja Taurus 40 years into the future. So, but it is past um, events that will lead up to it with a twist. It was a twist. So, Ninja Sun, The Awakening is where the story truly takes form. And then it's Revelations. The uh, desperation and eradication; those are the ones that's going to talk about, you know, the the history about this, the beginning of it. And when I tell you guys, you guys gonna have to look, read it. Please give it a please give it a read. But I gotta go, guys. Let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what. Um, don't forget when you go to Amazon, leave a review. You can give, you know, leave your honest review. Let me know what y'all thought. Please come over to my website. Let me know, you know, leave comments and let me know what y'all think. I love you all. You guys be safe. And I will see you guys later.